I'm a little sick to my stomach. The potential for a cataclysmic event is an acknowledged part of the American landscape. If it happens, when it happens, who responds, and how. Whether it's hurricanes, floods, fires, or man-made threats, bombs, nuclear, radiological, biological, chemical, these are catastrophic events we have to be prepared for. This is something that is really hard to envision. In this scenario, we're talking about 40,000 dead, we're talking about 37,000 that had to be evacuated, we're talking about 12,000 that, that are working through, through needing to be hospitalized, medical care. Bringing the vision to life is the driving force behind Exercise Vibrant Response, a training event sponsored by U.S. Northern Command, conducted by U.S. Army North. We'll go in and clear this area, uh, mark any contamination zones, and start to count casualties. The casualties in this scenario are the result of a terrorist attack, a 10 kiloton nuclear detonation. Local authorities have asked for help. We bring a lot of unique capabilities. We have a lot of resources, but in the homeland, uh, with the National Response Framework, we work within a construct with our other federal partners in order to provide those resources. Getting resources to the right place at the right time is just one of the training objectives. More than 7,000 crisis experts are on hand, military, civilian, local, state, federal. From command and control, search and rescue, decontamination, communication, medical, all are tested. You want to be prepared. You don't want the first time that you think about how to save my neighbors, my friends, my daughter, my son, my family. I don't want the first time that we think about that to be when something goes wrong. It's a hands-on platform where the nation is immersed in crisis response in the homeland, focused on dealing with a catastrophic event and saving lives. Gail McCabe, Indiana.